can I be trapped? Is it possible to get trapped by this code here? Ah, trapped by code. Welcome to challenge number five of the Code On series. I am Coach Newton, your host. You too can be trapped in a good way with code in the Scratch program. I'm gonna guide you through that today. Thanks for, for joining me here. Um, in challenge number five of our Code On Spring 2019 daily challenges in Scratch, this is some of the code that you can use. Our theme is Code On, Code On. So I'm gonna guide you through challenge number five today. This is the last in this week's daily series. And I hope you've been having fun collecting your knowledge tokens. Remember, if you get through all five challenges, you trade that silver from day one through challenge four, and then your fifth, you trade it in for a gold, and then you get it on your knowledge band. So I hope you're making great progress learning and having fun. Today's challenge is pretty, pretty fun, I think. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, today, instead of myself, you'll have a small portion of me. Instead of Coach Newton, you are going to have, please don't laugh too much, Ghost Newton to help you out. That's what we're going to be doing in today's Scratch Challenge. So Ghost Newton will be here to guide you through. And I'll show you how to sign in as a student. Remember in video one, we kind of showed you the details of that. So if you haven't watched the previous videos, make sure you do that to kind of see how you set up your account if you don't already have one as part of my classes. So this is one of the students, SDB20. I'm gonna type in my password. We've been working using this student account on the projects here each day. So immediately I go in and as I told you before, I always like to look at my stuff, my stuff. So these are some of the challenges from the last couple of days going all the way back to challenge number one. Today's challenge is to explore. I'll show you there what happens when you hit explore, the whole world of scratch is open to you. There is a large community of young coders just like yourself that are learning and sharing their projects. So it's a great opportunity to see what have some others done with their stories you have animations you have what have they done with art games one of the favorites of course right uh, music I love to see what uh, students have done with music what coders have done with stories and then tutorials of course so I'm gonna pick an example here so suppose you selected stories and you said I want to see what Katie Paris has done in this story so you click on the story and it comes up with instructions you should always put instructions in your programs as well on the project page and Katie here wrote click the green flag so let's do that are you okay <laughs> dying inside <laughs> I cannot find my mother oh, I'm a panda minion and I'll poof her here boom thank you magician bye everyone awesome love that project so I'd hearted it I uh, loved it and saved it as a favorite here earlier when I was checking this out. So uh, let's see what I'd suggest is suppose you said, hey, this is the project I'm going to take up for my challenge today. So you click remix and say, OK, now you'll notice it's saved up here. Stories remix and you can see the code inside. So you could change it um, if you wanted to add new things. Suppose you wanted to add a new sprite and you said, you know what? Uh, pandas love to play with balls. So now there's a ball in the project and you could kind of have the ball there. And you notice there's no code. You can add the code for the ball. Um, and then let's just do something silly. Let's say when the green flag is clicked and the program starts, I'm going to move the ball. Let's see, go to, no, not a random position. Let's glide to this position here. So the ball will go to there. So I'm going to glide to there when I first click it. Um, and the ball's going to start here, which is this position. So we're saying in the beginning when this thing's clicked, I'm going to go to there and glide for five seconds to the position that I'd saved. It should be up there. We can test just this code by clicking it. It's kind of nice. There it goes. 
And I said, take five seconds to get there. So let's watch our little modification. Let's see, we start the program from the very beginning. Started from scratch. Are you okay? <laughs> Somebody recorded their own video, I love it. And you notice our ball already went up there. Thank you, bye everyone. So I like this project, it's kind of simple and you've, you've kind of done it. You could save it, kind of made a little modification to it. And suppose you said, okay, now that I've saved it, I want to share it. And as soon as you share it, here's your project page. So the instructions were the same that Katie had created, but did you use, let's give some credits, notes and credits, because if you, if you use her ideas and scripts, let's thank them here. So I'm going to write thank you, and you'll notice it tells you, thank you, Katie Paris, one, two, three, for sharing. I added moving ball for fun. This is my code on spring 2019 challenge five. Okay, so I will add that to a studio my spring break challenges okay and there it is it should be there let's test it out let's look at my stuff my studios spring break challenges and there's my remix my stories remix by sdb20 so again don't forget to have fun explore pick one you may want to try a couple animations see if you like it you can scroll down you can see there are many many options uh, many games that, that have been created by coders just like yourself it's fun to see inside their code how did they do certain things how did they generate the graphics and pretty soon you could be posting your projects here as well so others could learn from you so that's today's challenge i just want you to kind of really enjoy that uh, we're going to say goodbye to ghost newton and let's go over to the last little wrap up here. I did want to say thank you for watching these videos and having fun with Scratch. As always, you can see, you can do code on email from your parents to Coach Newton at codeonpenucation.org. Send me any questions. You can start these projects anytime. I'll be here to guide you along and make sure you learn while you're having fun. And I want you to enjoy yourself. Thanks for joining us again, and we hope to see you coding soon.